clouds. Have you ever noticed all the unique shapes and sizes of clouds? Same here. Today, we are going to learn all about the different kinds of clouds. But before we get into that, let's talk about what a cloud actually is. Clouds occur in the atmosphere. The atmosphere includes all the gases that surround the planet, including the oxygen that we breathe. The atmosphere is also full of water. The water in the atmosphere is made of tiny drops that are too small for the human eye to see. Clouds start forming when the liquid water droplets in our atmosphere transform into gaseous water vapor. When the water vapor rises, it comes into contact with cooler, thinner air. As the warm air and water vapor cool, clouds are formed. All of that is a long way of saying that a cloud is a group of water vapor droplets, or ice crystals, hovering in the atmosphere. Pretty cool, right? Now that we know what a cloud is, let's talk about the different types of clouds. Cirrus are high, thin, wispy clouds that appear during good weather. Cirrocumulus are also found high up in the sky. They are the clouds that look like a bunch of tiny cotton balls bunched together. Cirrostratus clouds are high, flat clouds that indicate that rain may be on the way. Next up are altostratus clouds. They are dark gray, mid-level clouds. If you see them in the sky, they are usually a sign of rain. Altocumulus clouds are small, white, and puffy. Like their altostratus friends, they are mid-level clouds. But unlike the altostratus, they do not provide rain. If you are looking for thick, dark gray clouds that usually bring rain or snow, look no farther than nimbostratus. These mid-level to low clouds are the ones that look pretty ominous on a rainy day. Less intimidating are stratus clouds. Stratus are low, flat, gray clouds that will sometimes bring a light rain or slight drizzle. Similarly, stratocumulus clouds are low and gray, but they are puffy instead of flat, and they only produce rain sometimes. Cumulus clouds are the ones you can look at and see pictures or shapes if you try hard enough. You know what we're talking about. They are the mid-level to low white puffy clouds that indicate good weather. And last but definitely not least are cumulonimbus clouds, perhaps the most intimidating of them all. They can span the entire sky, cause heavy rain, and are the only clouds that cause thunderstorms, hail, and sometimes even tornadoes. Whoa! We have learned some cool cloudy facts together. Let's review. Fill in the blank. A cloud is a group of water vapor droplets, or ice, blank, hovering in the atmosphere. Crystals. True or false. Cumulonimbus clouds are white, fluffy, and a sign of good weather. False. What type of cloud occurs high in the sky and looks like a bunch of tiny cotton balls bunched together? Cirrocumulus. Great job, friends. Clouds are an interesting atmospheric phenomenon that signal various kinds of weather. The next time you are outside, look up high and see if you can identify what types of clouds are up in the sky. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.